Hi everyone, this is Laura from Photocentric. Today I'm going to show you how simple it is to create a negative in Photoshop on a Mac for the Teresa Collins Stamp Maker. When you create a negative for the Stamp Maker, you need to have about a half an inch black border all the way around the image. Today I have two methods I'm going to show you. The first one is for those with a basic knowledge of Photoshop, and the second is for those of you who are comfortable with Photoshop and know how to use brushes. Let's get started. Okay, once you have Photoshop open, the next step is File, New, and depending on whether you want the image horizontal or vertical depends on your measurements. I tend to leave everything for the medium size, the polymer to 4.5 by 2.75 depending on if it's horizontal or vertical. I'm going to do a vertical image, so I want the width to be 2.75 inches and the height to be 4.5 inches. Um, we want the resolution 300. The higher the resolution, the better your image's quality will turn out. Um, I don't change the color mode. I want the background color to be white, or you can use background color. Click OK. Once you have this image, I size this down slightly just so I can see where my image is easier. The next step I use, I fill in the image with black. So you switch the foreground and the background color, click on the paint bucket and fill with black. Next step is to open your image. File, open, depending on where you have your image located. I have mine located right here, so you select that and open. As you can see, the image is slightly larger than the, the black image that you have, so the, the easiest way to fix this is to select the arrow and then simply click anywhere and drag the image onto the black image. As you can see, it's quite a bit larger. Okay, the easiest way to fix this is edit, then free transform. This will give you handles that you can resize. If you hold in the shift key, it will keep the proportions the same so it's not all out of shape. Just size it down until it's the size that you need. You need to make sure you have about half an inch on the border on each side, so just keep sizing this down until it's the correct size. Once you get it on there, you need to accept the changes. Click on it. Then, next, you go File. Now you have a white image on a black background. Well, how do you get it all black and white? The next step is Image, Adjustments, then Invert. This will invert the image. Now your image is black and white. You need to flatten the image so that when you move it, it doesn't shift and move. The, the, the easiest way to do this is Layer, Flatten Image, and the image is now flattened. Now you have a negative that you can print and save. Okay, this next method is for those of you comfortable with Photoshop and using brushes. Click on File, New, and depending on if you're doing horizontal or vertical image, change the height to the width. I'm doing this one horizontal so the width is high, bigger than the height. Leave the background color this time, click OK, and you have a black image. Size it down slightly so you can read it. Okay, next step for this is to click create a new layer, add a new layer. Then click on your brush tool. As you can see, I have a bird and a pennant. I click on the bird, then click anywhere on the screen so that it brings up the image. To, use, to, to resize the bird down slightly, just hit the left bracket key and it will size the image. If you hit the right, it will increase the size. Remember, you need to have at least a half an inch border around the image. Simply click down, there's your negative. It's that simple. To add another layer if you want to, you just click add another layer. Open your brush. If you want to use the pennant tool, if you click down, it, it, you can erase it. I just go edit step backwards and it takes it off. Just make it smaller till it fits on the screen. Click down. That's how easy it is to create a negative. When you go to print your images, there's hundreds of printer settings, so it really depends on what printer you have. I have an Epson R1800 printer that I use set on double-sided matte paper and best for the image quality. We recommend you use the HP D1000 printer, which on the Mac, I have to use specialty paper and best for image quality. The easiest way to, to load this is print, file, print, when it brings it up, 
you have your choice of printers. You go click on print settings and then it says paper type and quality. As you can see I have specialty paper and quality best. Save. I, I prefer to have Photoshop manage the color so if you know about changing the images that's up to you. Then this is ready to print and it's that easy to create negative images on Photoshop on a Mac. These are for creating stamps and embossing. If you want to have stencils they need to be the reverse so it's a positive instead of a negative. See you next time.